Do you know you can put user waypoints in your flight plan on ForeFlight? Let's look at the format of the Latin long that ForeFlight expects you to use and a brief explanation of positive and negative numbers. ForeFlight requires a simple numeric decimal degree format. Here is an example. The first number is a positive and it is followed by a forward slash and the second number begins with a negative number. A negative sign takes the place of the letter W which is used in the degrees, minutes, and seconds format. The W simply stands for west of the prime meridian. If you need to convert lat and longs from one format to another, here is a great website. Let's get into four flight and start on the map page. One of two ways to input a user waypoint is to tap and hold your finger on your spot of interest. This will open a window titled Add to Route with the Latin long of the spot you just selected on the first row. Select the More button next to the Latin long. Now tap the Save button. This will open the User Waypoint window. I'll start by typing in a description, but this is not required. You will notice that ForeFlight named the waypoint with the Latin long. You can change this. The name must be in all capital letters and it cannot have any spaces. If you want a space in your name, you must use an underscore to fill that spot. Click the Save button. Here you can see our waypoint is now shown on the map. Tap the Flight Plan button and let's use our new waypoint. I will type a departure airport and then type our new waypoint name. It must be typed exactly as you named it. And now we can fly directly to our waypoint and check it out. The second method for adding a user waypoint is to tap the More button on the bottom right. Look for the Custom Content button and tap it. Now tap the User Waypoints button. On the top right, tap the Plus button. Here you are basically starting from scratch and you will need to know the coordinates of the location you are trying to save. Start with the name, same as before, all caps, no spaces. Now input the coordinates as we previously discussed in decimal degree format. You can add a description if you would like, and then you need to tap the save button. You should now be in the list of saved waypoints. Tap the waypoint you just saved and this will open the details of the waypoint. Tap the Send to Map button and we can see our second waypoint has been added. I hope you found a tip or two that was useful from this video. Thank you for watching and go build a list of cool user waypoints. So long.